everybody. <laughs> I'm running a little late today. Yes, I am. I want to put my fan on here. Okay. Ah! Running a little late, you guys. I know. I'm trying to get better at this, but life happens. And when you work out of your house, life happens even more. Like, oh, the dinner needs to be put in the crock pot and started or it won't be done or, you know, laundry has to be finished and changed. There's always something. So I'm going to continue working on this Staffordshire. This is an American Staffordshire Terrier. Hi, thanks for joining. And, um, he's coming along pretty nicely. Oh. I'm just gonna unplug those things those headphones come on there we are it's coming along pretty nicely so I'm just going to um, enjoy some music and for the next 45 minutes I will be here drawing and if you feel like hanging out with me that's great ask any questions um, we'll talk about whatever I like to feel like you're just coming here to hang out and spend a little time in my studios <laughs> my studio. <laughs> I'm going to work on his little nose. I'm going to be getting a little closer for his nose. And um, once I get the nose sort of in, the face will start coming together a little more. And I can uh, start working on a little more of the details around the nose, I think. I think. I think. Thanks for the heart. Thank you. I love the heart. Even the chocolate ones. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. All right. So just for a second, I'm going to turn my sketch on so I can get a little bit, um, an outline of the structure of this nose a little bit, how I put it in here. I'm doing great. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I feel better. But then again, shh, I slap. Ugh. I slept until, um, I don't even want to tell you. I slept until almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> but I was up till 2 a.m. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming by. So I couldn't sleep last night. Thanks for inviting people. I really appreciate all the help I could get. And I was just like a tossing and a turning and up until, uh, 2, 2.30, I don't know. It was it was not a good night. And so then my husband, bless his soul, I have the best husband in the world, you guys. <laughs> he got up and he went to work and he didn't even wake me up or anything. He just let me sleep. So, he's a great husband. <laughs> Without being angry about it. And then my dogs were good and they let me sleep too. So that was, it was, it's been a good morning. I think I just needed some sleep. Because I feel a lot better. Alright. I want to turn this, there we go. Have it a little more outlined here. I'm going to start. Chocolate! You know, girls love chocolate. It's like. So I'm going to start, um. Adding in some a little bit of texture. I like doing these little swirls for dogs' noses because they pick up uh, kind of the texture of the nose. And I'll just shade it darker where I want it to be darker. And then I'll add some lights in. And I'll start creating the form here. So... I wasn't intentionally going to work on this staffy again, you guys. I like trying to mix it up for you guys so you're not bored with seeing the same thing right after the other. But I just didn't have any time today to, to um, figure out what else I was going to work on. I'm not, you know, my time management today has not been great. But that's okay. I'm the boss and I say... Kathy, it's okay. You have a little bit of a day off. It's all right. Hi. Thanks for stopping, Natalia. How are you? I'm, I've been enjoying having more time for Periscope. I really missed um, for a while there. It is just so busy. I didn't have time to get on here as much as I wanted. And I really missed like the connection with some of the people that I know on here. So I've been very, very thrilled 
of being able to reconnect with you guys. So, I'm glad you're still following me. <laughs> and I will be on here more often. So, thank you so much for the support. Because nobody likes to be on broadcasting and be here all by themselves. I'm just saying, who, who likes to be here by themselves? Alright, so now we're going to blend in some of these colors. And we'll get some ass accents and we'll... So the swirls basically are to help me get some of the texture and a little bit of the variety of the color that's on this dog's nose. And then when I take my water brush and slowly blend it in a little bit, hopefully we'll see a little variety of color, but a little bit of that nose texture. So you can see it's just a bunch of squiggles. Yes, I'm tickling his nose. It is very light little squiggles. I do that to my dogs all the time. I always go beep, beep, oh, right on their nose. <laughs> I do that all the time right on their nose. They probably hate it. No, I don't think they hate it. But they probably wonder what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so now a little bit more of a highlight. Very great. And a touch of dark. Create a little more of So yeah, I was in a jazzy mood this morning. I just got my first cup of coffee. So I was late because I had to get my coffee to you guys. So I'll admit to that. All right, let me see what my water blender here does. So I'm gonna very lightly do the first layer here and start. Also blending in circles with a slight water. Make it smaller. Oh no, I want the brush smaller, please. So, yeah, if you ever order a commission from me, you need to give me plenty of time. I'm not the fastest worker, but I'm a meticulous worker and. Uh, <laughs> You'll get the same attention and um, detail. It just might take a little while. But you can't rush a good thing, you know? And obviously, I'm not too concerned about what my pay per hour is. Hello, how are you? So. And so I just slowly build up layers until I get the texture that I want because even though this is digital art, this painter program does um, treat the paint like paint. So it'll read that that was its first layer on top of a canvas or the second layer. It will blend in more and as you add more layers it blends in less like the paint's drying and building up depth. So even though there are some shortcuts, I still have to... Oh yeah, I did! Hang on! I, I just have to, I might add a shadow to it. I can, I'll show you really quick. I just haven't, I haven't signed it yet. And I haven't, um, I haven't, I think I'm going to add a shadow to make it a little pop up. And we have a talk bot. But that's okay, I guess. <laughs> I 
So I haven't completely, totally finished it where it's done and saved as a JPEG yet. But I think he's pretty much done. Um, I'm going to uh, print it out and probably send it home with my parents this weekend. Thank you. I was going to, I was thinking about adding a little bit back here of his body, but I think it would just be a little distractive. I mean, it, there is part of his body back here, but I think this is okay. It makes it a little more of a pop with just the face and the white. And I, I'm going to do just a very slight light shadow, I think, underneath to help him pop off the page a little bit. And then I'm going to sign it and print it out. Um, thank you. If if you follow me, do you follow me on any of my other social medias like Instagram or on Facebook where I post photos? I uh, you'll definitely get to see not only the finished photo of this, but I will um, take a picture of the actual print so you can see how it prints out. And I'll post that on my social media as well. So um, I don't know if you follow me. I'll put it up really quick. All right, hang on. Let me put. I'll put up my info really quick in case anybody doesn't have it. Basically, I'm Kathy Grillo, like anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. But um, if you follow me, the big ones would be my personal design page on Facebook. Um, you get little behind the scenes, and that's a, and then um, Instagram. I post three times a day on Instagram, so anything that's finished will get posted there, like. Oh, you know, I rotate through for a while, so you'll see, have a more than one chance to see it. But I plan to also take a picture of the print, and so you can see how it looks when it's printed out. This is the digital version, and I'll show you how they look when they print out, which they look really pretty good. I just want to add a little, I'm going to do a little, I could do it right now. Hello, I'm the boss. I can do what I want. I can do what I want. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to add an extra layer here, and I just want to put a little shadow. I mean, my brush adjusting, that's what the time is. So this is a, a digital soft velocity airbrush I'm going to use, and it takes a while to change the size, unfortunately. I should have done it a different way. I might have to go smaller. I don't know if I'm going to go just a general. Because I can make... I can make the shadow as light as I want. So I think what I really want to try to do is get these little points in a shadow so it looks like a really... Like, you know, the light's really hitting this dragon. And then, so let's zoom in a little bit. It's too small. All right, so I'm just going to kind of come in behind this. seen a collared lizard um so if you follow me on my other social medias please feel free to um suggest me trying one or um finding some photo reference or something and i would definitely look into it i don't even know what one looks like so So then I just kind of faded out a little bit. All right. So this is where I think I need to make it a little smaller. Okay, cool. Yeah, especially if it's your pictures and you give me permission to use your reference photo, that would be sweet. All right, so... What I'm trying to do is get 
the shadow to reflect all these little... We'll see whether this works or not. So I'm just tapping this airbrush and the airbrush is real light. And so then I'm just going to fade it a little bit. I don't like that last one. And it's also show me where to clean it up and make it a little sharper looking. So we're going to start, I just um, keep in mind where my light source is, which is up here. So I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit and then I'll fit. it's just going to be a very slight shadow and hopefully it'll just make it look a little more 3D and pop off the page. it a little bit okay great thank you you have a great day too thanks for popping in and saying hi really big and light. take my water and I just want to lighten a little bit of it up a bit. These few spots in here. I don't like that. That didn't work. So that didn't work the way. Let's just do this. Let's do this. I'll go back to the airbrush and I'll just lighten it up with the airbrush. Alright, so now I can take this layer and I can play with how dark or how light I want it. I don't want it super dark. Just add a little interest back here.
Might as well finish it, right? I'm gonna be able to sign it in a minute. So this, the shadow here is a little stronger than under here. spot okay just a touch lighter So then I see a couple spots I have to come in and erase. So this is what a background is always good for. So these few little spots I need to come in with my eraser and just sharpen them up a little bit. Get rid of the extra flack. up a little bit. So when you're painting on white, you can't always see. Uh, just checking throughout there, it looks good. Yay, I think I'm done. So now I could sign it. officially and I can post it let's see what do I, I want to sign it like this dark brown color I think There it is! It's done! Yay! <laughs> Alright, so that one's done. That will be getting um, printed and posted soon. And now let's get back to what I was working on. Did I take a sip of coffee? Ugh. Ah, 
Yum, yum. All right. There we go. Back to Staffy Nose. <laughs> Back to the Staffy Nose. I'm going to have to readdress all my brush sizes. All right. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Thanks for coming by. This is a digital painting. Yep. It's thank you. And I do call it digital painting because um digital art I consider to be sort of different. I am painting just like I would paint. I could show you. I have a total of a sketch and two layers. So everything's painted on one layer. <laughs> just like a canvas. It's just I don't have to waste all my paint. This is a digital oil painting. Thank you. I'm still struggling with educating a lot of people, especially older people around my age, about digital painting. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions about it. But I guess it's part of what I'm out here doing. I want to get a little bit of this brown gray color in here. So I'm using Corel Painter. It's the brand new 2018 version. And I love it. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I love questions. Um, I talk about it so much, though, that I'm always afraid of repeating myself like 20 million times. So now I just wait for people to sort of ask. building up layers until I get the right yes I have a Wacom and 2OS Pro tablet that I'm using and it comes with this handy dandy little brush and pen and um, this is just on my PC and I do a lot of pet portraits I might do some custom fashion illustrations and um, sometimes I do flowers and stuff just for my own fun. <laughs> I like doing the flowers in between because um, I could be a little more free and use some bright colors and not be so mired in the details. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you like what you see, I'd appreciate a follow and shares or whatever. And um, I'm all over social media. It's what I do. This is, I'm lucky enough that this is my job. <laughs> I'm at work right now. So, 
Hi, Shonda. Hi. This is where you can find me. Take a screenshot. I'm going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Screenshot. <laughs> So this is digital oil paint, and the brush I'm using right now is called a wet blender brush. And this brush will blend into the paint as I'm painting, and it helps. Um, it reacts like if I was painting on wet wet paint, how they would blend together, and you get new texture or colors by doing that. So, and just like oil paint, it kind of I probably could, but um, I don't usually do anything like that. I do have a couple of... The closest I would get would be... I did for my son because, you know, what's a mom to do when a son asks, right? I have done Donkey Kong. <laughs> and I have done a Star Fox. And those were just for my son because he requested it and being a mom, you know, being a mom, you can do what you gotta do. So right now I'm just creating form. I have the shape of the nose, and then you create some. Um, you could do both. There's a bunch of different brushes. I have not really gotten into um, doing brushes so much myself, but um, if you have a brush, let me see if I can get the window. It will come with Uh, control panels. I really don't want to open it though. And basically you can take a brush and I can... There's like 30, 40 different things you can move around and experiment with. I just have not had the time to really play around with all that too much. I'm busy. Yeah, I mean, like, if you know what you're doing, okay, so, I am not trained with Corel Painter. I have not gone to school for digital painting or anything like that. So, I'm just, like, teaching myself, and I just, like, jump into the program with two feet and try to learn. So, I, I uh, try to keep it simple so I don't get frustrated. I read through the manual once in a while, and... When I have some time, I do play around, and that's how I discover different things, but it takes me a little while. All this technology stuff moves faster, usually, than I can learn it. Oh, no, I have a photo reference. Right now, I'm just practicing. I'm working my way through the dog breeds. So this is just a stock photo I have of this dog but usually I do custom pet portraits and people will send me a photo and I usually take like five or six photos and kind of work from them to put together a project for them it's kind of how it works I'm challenging myself right now with the brindle I'm still trying to get all his coloring in the right way are cute, huh? 
he has this big old smile on his face, which is what I really liked. Um, and I wanted to challenge myself with doing an open mouth. So here I am. In the picture, his muzzle is a little darker, but I'm afraid of making it too dark because I want to keep the, um, the perspective of it being closer. So I'll just kind of, I think I'll make it a little darker closer in but keep the edge bright and that should hopefully help me. So this is one thing I do love about digital painting is the details I can get because I'm older, I can zoom in. Um, if I was painting in real life, this brush would probably be the thickness of one of my hairs. That's how small I'm really working. So it'd be almost impossible to do this um, traditionally. The painting would have to probably be super large, which in turn would be super expensive. Uh, so that's another thing with the digital painting. I can make art accessible to regular people because it doesn't cost me as much in materials and I'll pass that on to the people who want to have a portrait painted. So I typically charge $60 for one pet portrait and that gets you an 8 by 11 printed on linen paper and I also email you the um, high res di um, digital file so if you wanted to have it reprinted larger or on a coffee cup or whatever you want to do with it it's then yours so that's typically what I do and I just like spreading the word that you do not Yes, art is a luxury item, but it doesn't have to be an outrageous luxury item. Um, going out to dinner is a luxury, and I like to say, you know, my portraits are, you know, you could probably what you would spend if you went out to dinner for one night. And if you look around, I mean, that, that's why a lot of art is expensive, because if you buy traditional art, yeah, well you should. If you have the money and you want to play around and you're interested in it, it's fun just to, you know, play around and do different things. Um, if you're interested in Photoshop, there's always photo manipulations, which, you know, if you take your own photos and you want to make some really great pictures and you take the time to edit them right, that's also a skill. Um, I, I consider photo manipulation art as long as people say it is a photo manipulation and don't try to say that they painted it. So, because you still, you still have to have the vision of what you want it to be. And you have to have the skill to create that vision, the skill and the know-how to bring it into reality. So, I have been put down several times by some people saying, oh, what you do is not art. It's not really art because you're painting, you know, it's digital art and that's cheating. And I'm like, all right, I don't see how you think that's cheating. But, you know, there's some people who I, I've literally had people th come to me and say, oh, well, you just, you know, the program does all the work for you. No, it doesn't. Which is why I love doing live streaming, so people can um, ask questions and actually see me paint. If you follow me, this is probably my fourth or fifth hour so far, broad live streaming on this portrait. Yeah, they don't get it. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
oh, your art's great. And then they find out that it's done digitally and they seem to discredit it. And I'm like, well, if, if, um, if I was painting this on oils to get this amount of detail, it would probably have to be like a five foot painting and it would cost a lot of money just for the canvas and supplies, which I would then have to pay on. And then you figure I spend probably 20 to 30 hours on a portrait, you know, that's why you have people thinking that art is um, super expensive and not accessible. But if you're willing to go for smaller prints and um, you can you can have a lot of stuff done. There's I know a lot of artist friends. I have a big art community. So it's not just for the rich folks. Cause I too balk when I when I see art and, and then somebody well I was just in Vegas and you know, there was something, in it, and you look at the price tag, and the price tag was like $26,000. And I'm like, holy heck. How do you enjoy art that way? I, I, would, rather, I would rather have my art be affordable and have people think about going to artists and having something created for their home that's unique and original and made with heart and um, instead of buying instead of buying um, some $40 paper print off at Walmart you know like when you're ready to hang stuff or decorate your home you know get on, I wish people would think okay I'm gonna go online and I'm going to look for an artist that I like their style and I'm gonna start talking to them and, and see tell them what I'm looking for and find the person to, you know, create something for me. So it's a little bit of my, my revelation, my, my revolution goal. I do, I do like that idea. I do have a whole studio though. I could show you really quick. So, we're gonna do a little turn. So this is, this is where I work, for the most part. Alright, so you see that, but I do have, I have art on my walls, I have paints and glitters and sketchbooks. <laughs> I have watercolors. I have an easel over here, so I do more than just digital, I do other art, it's just what has and then this is my studio wall that I change every three or four months. I'm getting ready to think of what to put up there next. But it's a, the whole board's a chalkboard, so I'll do chalkboard art. And, but basically I have a place to keep everything sort of neat. Oh, I have my little fan mail. That's my fan mail over there. Art from fans, yeah. So, you have to, in order to paint, digital art and digital painting are different, I believe. And in order to do digital painting, you have to know how to paint first. Because it's literally, I have, I have a sketch that I turn on and off, and that's just like my guideline. Because this is going to be a whole dog. And other than that, I don't paint, I never paint on my canvas level because that's the only level I can't totally just get rid of if I hate it. So I always go up a level from my canvas. And the only thing on another separate layer are the eyes and that was to protect it from all the hair drawing of the face, but everything's all on one layer. So it's just like if it was on a canvas pretty much. I might do a separate layer, I might do a separate layer for the body and that would be just to protect the head from getting messed up by the body and it's just like, you know, to save it from, you know, any, so if I get really, 
It is the one trick I do like. I will save it on a different level. So if I'm painting the new level and I start hating how it's going and I need to totally start over, I can just delete the whole the whole level and start over without worrying about all the work I put into the face. But this is what I do, and um, I'm all over social media, so almost any social media that you're on, if you look up Kathy Grillo or Kathy Grillo Design or Art, you'll be able to find me. And I do appreciate any follows and comments or support. Um, I call everybody who does follow me and supports me. I call you guys my art community. And it's very important. Don't like that last brush stroke. Get my water brush and just kind of blend it out. Okay, so one of the most important parts when you're doing a pet portrait really is if you get your brush strokes going in the proper hair direction, and the human eye will fill in a lot of the blanks for you. And if we get up really close, yeah, the eyes are super important and I do humanize them a little bit. So that's another trick too. Um, if you see on this eye, he doesn't have as much white. Their dogs really don't have a lot of white around their eyes. But just a little touch of white around the eye helps give it a little more expression and makes them pop. So they're more of a center of um, attention and draw a viewer in more. And they give a little more expression and it makes them a little more humanized. As, as a person when you see um, the expression of eyes or recognize them a little more you, you get a better connection with them yeah so it's just a little trick um, as an artist you kind of have to be a magician in a way we're an illusionist we are fooling the audience into uh, seeing things the way we want them to see it so as I give away the secrets <laughs> that you're not supposed to do uh, you can see every little brush stroke in here and they're just it's really impressionistic it's just a bunch of little lines of mixed colors that's all it's just a bunch of little mixed color lines just going in the proper direction and so then when you when you zoom out the human eye oh when you zoom out the humor eye will put them together in a picture that makes sense to you. So, there's the secret, guys. I just blew it. I just blew the secret. <laughs> so, You'll hear, me say, you'll hear me say this all the time, too. All drawing is the same. So it all starts out, you start with um, a shape. And a lot of times when I'm sketching, I will squint. It, so I don't get bogged down by the details. I just see the shape. So you start out with a basic shape. And then from the shape, you start creating... Um, form, which means is turning that flat shape into reading a three-dimensional shape, you know, that, that, you know, bringing things forward, making things recede, giving them curves, and then the rest of it is just detail, and that's all individually up to the artist and their style. So I do a lot of detail. Some people will not do as much detail. Some people are very abstract. But we all do the same beginning of shape and form. Uh, 
Alright. So, as you make something lighter, um, probably about 25, 30 hours maybe. I never really keep track. If I kept track, I probably would be really depressed on how much I got paid per hour. Um, <laughs> and right now I'm not getting paid anything for this. This is just practice. So, honestly, I, um, I don't really keep track too much. Because the painting's not going to be done until I say it's done, no matter how much I'm getting paid to do it. So, um, it's my standards are more important than the money I make. I don't know if that makes sense. Probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it's kind of how I am. Alright, so I need a little bit of a detailed brush here. As I... want to start making this little indent for his mouth. Oh well, have a good time at the dentist. Oh, thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you again. I'm almost done anyway for my time here. Actually, I went over a little bit, but since I was late, I don't mind going a little over. I try to keep it to an hour at a time. So this is something new for me with the tongue and we are going to have to play around a little bit to get until I'm happy with the detail on it. Right now I'm just kind of um, using my water brush to slowly blend in a shadow here. And I'm trying to keep a little bit of this texture. See, now I'm going to stay longer since you just got here. <laughs> Yay! So, Lampy, I deleted my busker. I deleted the busker app yesterday. Kind of sad about it. <laughs> but, you know... I gotta move on. Alright. Not that many people saw me on there though anyway. So I don't know why I'm upset about it. <laughs> I'm just sitting there thinking about it. Mm. You're in Turkey! Look at you, you jet setter! Well, have fun, take lots of pictures. When you post them, describe what they are so I know where, where you're at. Or what, what they're at. That, that's cool. Turkey. <laughs> I 
I appreciate it. I'm, I have a big smile on my face right now, so thank you. I haven't seen you for a little while, like, you know, other than messages, so it's nice to have you pop in. Okay, I need to have it a little more controlled. I want this edge to have a little more of this dark pink. So then it looks like it has this little flip going on. Hi James, how are you? Okay. Hi James, how are you? So what are you in Turkey for? Are you allowed to say? Are you on vacation or is it for work? How long have you been in Turkey? So I hope you're having fun. Yeah, I'm still working on this dog. The brindle is, but I, um, I do other things, so. I, I, I've been working on other things, too. So it's like sometimes I'm working on the dog, and then sometimes I'm working on something else. Aw, oh, that's nice, you're visiting. I'm glad you're still, um, close to your ex-sister-in-law. Enough to visit. Yeah. I really like the detail too, right? But in the meantime, let's see, I have, I finished the lizard. I have started, I have like four or five sketches done. Um, what's the next flower one I have done like? Lampy takes beautiful flower pictures there. You are. So he takes these beautiful flower pictures that he, he lets me work on. And, oh, there it is. Here's the next sketch. Preview for Lampy. <laughs> Here's the next flower sketch when I get onto it. If it comes up. open there it is it's the um, carnival candle lily I'm gonna do so this is next that's how they start out simple simple easy sketch but it's a very pretty like orange candle lily real pretty on this edge and a little more dark right underneath oh, <laughs> I can't keep up now I want to draw them all 
I have a lifetime of supplies right now. Thanks to you. It's awesome. Get a little bit of that lightness and curve going. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's awesome. So, I don't even know what this part of a dog is called. If somebody knows, feel free to let me know. I just know they have like this rolly mouth stuff. It's kind of like their lips or something. I don't know. Yes, it is. It's a staffy. Yeah. So it makes me happy. At least it looks like what it's supposed to look like. So that's always good. Thank you. Always good when it looks like what it's supposed to, right? Get a little blend here. pink to some of it. Oh, let's use this magic pencil and see what happens. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. I try. I beat myself up a lot. Sometimes I don't think I'm so great, but I try. It's a natural. It's a lot of work. I paint every day or draw or sketch. So eventually you just kind of um, know what you're doing. Sort of. It's family, the Pipples. I believe they're related. This is a Staffordshire Terrier, American Staffy. I think they're related or it's a type of Pitbull. I'm not exactly positive. Thank you. 
thank you. I wasn't going to be here this long, but you guys are giving me so much love that I'm going to stay longer. So... <laughs> And if I miss a comment, I will see it when I kind of breeze through the replay. And if we're in contact at all on social media, I'll try to answer if it's a question. But sometimes I miss them. I have these big old glasses. I don't have the best peripheral version, uh, vision. My husband always yells at me all the time because I don't see people. I don't see things out the side of my eyes <laughs> very well. <laughs> Alright, I want to get this a little darker. detail brush that needs to be dark. So I'm just kind of coaxing the shape out of this here. This music totally fits my mood today, too. Yeah, I was just kind of like, mm-hmm, little jazzy, quiet mood today. It rained a little bit this morning. So now I just want a little teeny bit. And it's hard to give it that little wet look of Moisture, a little glisten. Mm 
Gomes. Alright, let me step back and see. It's still a little too bright on the one side. This darker. All right. Wrong color. <laughs> Check the color. So this will be played with and it won't be totally finished until I'm done with all the hair underneath the mouth. So I'm, I just want to get the basic shadows and highlights thrown in here because I still have to come in and make this look like it's on top of the hair on the lower part of the face. So it's not completely finished. a little too dramatic for me. Alright. That one's going to be down a little bit, I think. I want to cut it off a little bit. Things don't always look the same when you back up. Oh, Dragonfly's here! Hello! Thank you so much, one of our busker peeps. Appreciate it. Alright, come here, buddy. I'm almost done with the face. Almost, almost, I'm almost done. And then I won't be done because I'll probably go back and pick at it a few times after I do the whole body before I'm really done. But I can get, I want to get a little bit, just a couple really nice white whiskers down here. Start developing these little ones that come out from under the mouth. 
for his chin and when we get the right shade and highlight we should have a better expression on his face. So he has like this little double chin, this guy. So <laughs> it's kind of, it's so cute though. And if I want to get the shadows to start playing up for this, bring his little chinny forward and create the um, jawline. So even though, even though his, he has a white spot right under his chin here, I am first doing it with black. So then this white will be brighter. And the white that I put on over um, down here will have a little bit of a more um, gray tone to it in the shadow. Highlight it right on top. So, as you start bringing this lighter, it's going to start coming forward. But I still need to keep the top part of it is in the shadow from the jawbone. So, there's our trick. <laughs> Where's this jump? But luckily these layers will blend together and it should do just that. I'm going to add a little pink down here. A little more gray for his spots. So we could see the skin underneath his light layer of hair here. Just bring his chin here over it. Hi, Miss Beautiful. How are you today? water and I just lightly brush over these to give you that little fuzzy that light bunch of hair but you can still see the skin underneath
Aww. Well, it's, I just painted, um, not too long ago, I painted an Aegean cat. And I guess they're like the official cats of Greece. And I believe, like, over in Greece, they have these cats that are... Um, basically homeless. They don't belong to anybody specifically, but the little towns that they live in sort of have adopted them as um, a whole, you know, and they'll go hang out on people's porches and get food and, um, you know, people feed them and take care of them and they just like, kind of like make their rounds in the neighborhood. But uh, I guess they're very popular like that. Like the people don't, they don't keep a pet like that and say, oh, that's my cat and it's in my house and whatnot. They just kind of tend to uh, have like the neighborhood cats. Do you? So I found that pretty interesting, you know, I mean, the cats seem happy, you know, they have decent weather and stuff over there, so they go around and they get loved by everybody. I'll spend the morning on so-and-so's porch, and I'll spend the afternoon over here and uh, make my little rounds towards this restaurant or whatever and get some leftover scraps, and, and it's kind of kind of the life they have, I guess. Oh, in the cemetery. Uh, just kind of like that. I guess different people have different names for them, and they just, you know, smoothie along. But I'm sure, you know, there's people who watch out for them every day, and they just have their, their routine that they do. I need a little highlight over in here. These little curves. I just want to brighten up that brindle side a little bit. And then I can add in because I really want I'm trying to make this cheekbone come up a little. So I know at some point I'm gonna have to just tell myself to stop. <laughs> Is it? Okay, well, you know what? It's a good place then to. I think I'm done with the face, you guys. I think I'm done with the face. Um, I might add a little more sparkle to the little godly mouth stuff, but I think I'm pretty much done with the face. And next it will be the body. So um, we'll start doing some underpainting and moving on to that fun. But I'm going to end it here then. I'm going to go grab a really quick, um, really quick bite. And hopefully I'll see some of you guys on the music train. I didn't know they were doing it on Wednesday. 
So <laughs> thanks for Lampy. I'm going to go watch some stuff myself. So if you're interested in seeing the end of this, feel free to follow me anywhere on social media. And um, hope to see you around. Thanks for spending some time with me.